I often hear when it comes to business leaders and documenting their SOPs is that they don't know where to start. What I do in my business and what I recommend our clients to do is break down your SOPs into the technological SOPs, so anything related to software and how you use it in your company, and then the business process SOPs, so how we do certain things, whether it's preparing a report or running a meeting or you know executing a campaign, how we do things around here, and then what software we use to do those things. And so if it's software and it's a specific tool you're using, it's how to log into that software, how to generate that report in that software, how to download the report from that software, how to send that report through this piece of software. And then on the business process side, how do we prepare the email for that report that needs to go out? How do we log on to our computers? How do we find and you know submit reimbursement statements? How do we request the time off? And so if you can break it down between all the software that you use and all the ways in which you use that software, and then all the different ways in which you run your business or you run your team, think about it through an operations perspective, through a marketing perspective, through a sales perspective, through a finance and admin perspective, all of those different departments and the business units within those departments or the teams within those departments, think about how they all interact and start to list those out. You can start with something as simple as Excel. You can start with paper and pencil. And so if you want to understand how to structure SOPs and build a system where you can bring in your people and say, this is how you use that software and this is how you complete you know, this process, you've got to spend the time in documenting this. And I know the second thing that I hear often is I don't have the time to document my SOPs or my processes or how I work. And one thing that I often will do is just say, get on Loom. Loom.com is a great tool. I've recently discovered Tango as well, where it's a walkthrough of how you're doing things and it. As you click, it highlights certain spaces and then the recipient can choose to have the tool Tango guide them through the steps as well. So I promise you, you cannot afford to not document your processes because your team's depending on it and the scalability of your department and your processes are depending on it.